please help me. I don't like the style recommendations for my body type. I just can't be that body type because I hate those styles. If that's you, this video could help. You can tell us anything. We don't judge. I get this question all the time and you have absolutely nothing to fear because you can absolutely incorporate your personal style with your body type and in fact, that's what this video is all about. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate step by step how to incorporate your personal style into your body types, including my refine, focus and follow method. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel, we use body types to elevate our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. In the last two videos in this series, I firstly explained how to find your personal style using style roots. I then showed you how to combine your style roots to create a personal style which is even more unique. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to combine your style roots with your body type. For those of you who are new to all of this, body types is a theory developed by a man called David Kibbe in the 1980s. And it's a theory that I'm absolutely obsessed with and have devoted this channel and my TikTok body and style to. Style roots is my own theory, which you use in conjunction with body types, essence, color theory kind of ideas. The idea is that you combine style roots, which are inspirational roots that come from nature and use these to combine and come up with something that's very unique and original. Kind of like a personal style smoothie. And before you go any further, if you want me to make you a style file, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com. The link is in my description and fill out a contact form. So let's take this slow and show you how you can combine one style root with your body type. An example of this is my video on dressing edgy for the body types. So edgy is an aesthetic within my moon style root. So it's dark, intimidating, that kind of thing. And that was a great example of how you can create an effect using your body type. So that might be a good place to start to understand this concept of what I'm talking about when I say creating an effect, which is a favorite phrase of mine. If you understand your body type and you dress to your lines, you're going to create one of the following effects. You're going to look timeless, feminine, harmonious, and striking. But these aren't necessarily what everybody wants to achieve with their personal style. You might want to look sweet or intimidating or professional in all spheres of your life. We're not talking about adapting to each individual scenario or situation. That's a video for later. It's about who are you underneath, who is your core? So for example, if you were to show up a gala, would you, rather than trying to wear what everyone else is wearing, you're going to be wearing a dress which is perfect for you specifically. So for a quick recap of the style roots, just so we're up to speed, Moon is dark, intimidating, edgy, and gothic. Fire is sensual, luxurious, glamorous. Flower is delicate, pretty, and sweet. Mountain is strong, powerful, force on top of things. Stone is relaxed, easygoing, comfortable. Sun is fun, experimental, creative, and wild. Earth is natural, earthy. I tried to think of some other terms, but that was pretty much all I could come up with. Carefree. And mushroom is elegant, classic, and timeless. So if we look back at that list, you've got lots of words there for the effect that you want to create. Now I'm going to go through my refine, focus, follow method for incorporating these details into your body type lines. So the first one, refine. Let's say you're a dramatic with a flower root. So you're going to want the details that I listed above to be large, straight, angular, narrow, and long. So with Refine, let's say you want to buy a wicker bag and you're a dramatic. Rather than buying a small, rounded wicker bag, you're going to want to pick a large, structured, stiff, boxy wicker bag, if that makes sense. So you're going to refine your pieces. You're going to adjust your pieces that you buy for your body type, so each detail. So it could be like literally an item, like that wicker bag, or it could be a specific detail, like a print, like a floral print. So dramatics are gonna struggle with floral prints anyway. But the way you get around this is instead of wearing little rounded floral prints, you're gonna want to wear large pointed floral prints, like a giant daisy, rather than a soft little rose, if that makes sense. So you're adjusting each detail to your body type specifications. Method number two is focus. So this is where, say you've got a dress with a small floral print which isn't quite right for you as a dramatic. That's fine as long as the rest of the lines are right for you. So for example, you'd want to prioritize a high neckline, a long sweeping dress, something without too much waist emphasis, 
And then the pattern isn't quite so important because the overall lines and the outline of the dress honors you, but you still have that little bit of personality by incorporating a floral print. And method number three, follow. This is where you might want to stick to the elements which work for your dramatic lines. So instead of trying to make a floral print work for you, you might want to just completely skip that and go for something like a gingham print, which is very structured and straight and narrow. So it's already part of your lines. Let's try this again on the other end of the spectrum with a romantic. Romantics are soft, rounded, delicate, little and lush, so this is what we really want to emulate in their clothing. Let's say we had a romantic with a moon style root. So let's do refine first. So let's say they wanted a celestial pattern. Rather than picking something large and straight and pointed, like this dress here, they might pick a pattern which is small, delicate and rounded. So you're adjusting the celestial pattern to work for your body type lines. So let's try focus. So you really want a plaid skirt, but instead of going for a plaid skirt, which is very straight and sharp, because you're soft, little and rounded, you might look for a plaid skirt which has a bow on it or lots of ruffles like this one, so that the overall outline still matches your romantic body type, even if the specific detail doesn't. But as you can see, this still has moon influence there. And method number three is, of course, follow. So this is where we completely stop trying to make the details work for the body type and just pick elements which work for our body type. So in this case, a romantic might pick tulle, lace, leopard print, and velvet from moon lines. And then you end up with something which still feels very romantic, but it still feels very moon-like, and it's not contradicting with your lines at all. I would say this is probably the easiest option. So now, how do you do this with three style priorities and your body type? Let's have a look at my own body type and style roots, and I'm gonna break down why each of these pictures works for each of the style priorities and my body type. For mushroom, we have minimal detail and the natural bag. It can literally just be two elements, which is enough to push an outfit over the edge. Secondly, flower, the frills on the top, and the delicate wedges. So that could be the bows on the wedges. I would also say the polka dot print is very flower. As for fire, I would say the curve emphasis in the outfit and the silk skirt. Now for soft classic, I would say the skirt is a moderate length, so it honors my moderation. There's not a lot of detail near the face. The details are very soft and rounded, which honors my romantic undercurrent. And there's not a lot of layering going on, so it's very simple and balanced. Okay, picture two. For mushroom, I would say it's a small color palette, which keeps things very simple and elegant. It's also very modest, so you have quite a, what could be quite a revealing sensual top but that's paired with less sensual trousers, so we've got this modest thread running through. For flower, very easy here, we have a floral print, and also you have that little wicker bag, which is very kind of cottage core. And you also have those drop pearl earrings, which are very delicate and pretty. For fire, I would say, again, that sensual top, so maybe the puffed sleeves and that wide, low, rounded neckline is quite sensual. For soft classic, the pattern is soft and rounded, the sleeves also soft and rounded. The high waist accommodates my curve. The jewelry is very simple. There's no necklace paired with the top. So again, we're keeping things very simple. The rounded neckline on is my romantic undercurrent. And the minimal detail on the trousers keeps things very simple. It, Cause if you added too much detail with the trousers along with the top, that could be quite overpowering. The bag is also of a moderate size, slightly rounded, slightly little without being too over the top in any way. And for this last dress, for mushroom, obviously, again, you can see it's quite modest length. The pattern is very simple. The silhouette is quite classic. For flower, I would say that pop of color in the bag is quite pretty and feminine. The bow on the waist is quite princess. For fire, I would say the high heels add something a little bit more sensual into the outfit. And that's probably the only thing I would say for fire. This is the least sensual of the lot. For soft classic, the pattern is a moderate size. It's not too little, it's not too fussy. It's got waist accommodation. The bag is, again, a moderate sized and it's slightly rounded. The shoes are simple, the pattern is simple and consistent, the line is not too heavily broken up there. So as you can see, those are some great examples of why these three outfits work for all of my style routes and for my body type. And that's how you do it. It's, it's not overly complicated. It can just be one or two things which make it work for you specifically. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy my playlist on building your wardrobe from scratch. And if you want me to make you a style file, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.